Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today I am going to talk about Edit Metadata Control in Azure ML. Edit Metadata Control is used to change the metadata associated with columns in the dataset. It does not change the data type or values in the data, but the metadata inside Azure ML which tells downstream components how to use the columns. Here I have listed changes made by this control to our data. The first one is treating Boolean or numeric columns as categorical values. Second one is you can mark a column as class label. This is used for prediction. Third one is you can mark the columns as features. So basically this control can be used where we have to manipulate the definition of the columns to meet requirements of downstream module since some modules can only work with specific data types or specific category of the data. Once you have performed the required operation for underlying module, you can reset the metadata to its original state. Now let's see how to configure edit metadata control. To do so, get edit metadata control and the dataset on the canvas and connect them. I have Titanic dataset on the canvas and I have connected it to the edit metadata control. So let's understand edit metadata first and then see how we can use it for our data set. Here we have to select columns by using launch column selector. Note that edit metadata will apply changes to all the columns in selection. So if you want to configure two columns of the same data set differently, then use two edit metadata modules for different types of transformations. Below the list of selected columns, we have an option to select the data type for the selected columns. If you want to assign a different data type to the list of selected columns, then use this option and select the data type. The data types supported are string, integer, floating point, boolean, date time, and time span. If you do not specify a new data type, the column metadata is unchanged. The change of data type occurs only on the metadata and not on the original columns of the data set. You can then recover the original data types by using edit metadata to reset the column data type. The next option is categorical where you can make columns categorical or non-categorical or you can select unchanged to keep the columns as it is. If you select to make columns categorical, then they would be treated as categories and not as results, scores, labels, or other values. For example, if you have a column containing values 1 and 0, and if you know that these values represent some binary variable such as if a customer is churner or non-churner, then we should flag them as categorical. As a result, the other values in table would be categorized based on these binary variables. And also, it prevents machine learning algorithms from treating 0 and 1 as numeric values rather than categorical values. After this, we have an option called Fields. Use this option if you want to change the way that Azure Machine Learning uses the data in the model. There are a bunch of options provided here. The first option is Features. By using this option, you can flag your column as feature because some modules require columns to be features. The next option is label. By using this option, you can mark a column as label. This is required in some modules where at least one predictable attribute should be present in the dataset. After that, we have weight. This option should be used with numeric data to indicate that column values represents weights for use in machine learning scoring or training operations. Only one weight column can be present in an entire data set and the column must be numeric. Below this, we have four options and all the four options can be used to clear previous selections and restore metadata to the default. So clear feature would remove the feature flag from the column. Clear label is used to clear label metadata assigned to the column. Clear score removes the score metadata from the column, but there is no option to specify a column as score and it is going to get added in Azure ML soon. Clear weight would remove the wet metadata from the column. So this way you can reset the original columns to original data types. In the next field, you can rename the columns. To rename multiple columns, 
type the names as a comma separated list in order of the column indices. All selected columns must be renamed. You cannot omit or skip columns. So let's see how to configure edit metadata for our dataset. We have tightening dataset connected to edit metadata. So let's visualize it. So the first column is passenger ID, which indicates the identification number assigned to each passenger. The next column is survived. Survived is a numeric feature, but it has only two unique values, zero and one, which indicates whether that person has survived or not. So we can convert this to categorical. The next column is P class, which indicates the passenger class. And there are only three unique values, which means that there are three different passenger classes available. So we can convert this to categorical form. Likewise, sex column has two unique values, male and female. So let's convert this to categorical form and we will change the names of these columns as well. Let's go to launch column selector to select the columns survived, P class and sex and then press OK. Now we want to make these columns as categorical. So I'll go to categorical tab and select make categorical option. After that, we can give new names to all the columns that we have selected. Even if we are not changing names of other columns, we have to list them since we cannot skip any column name. So now let's run the experiment. Experiment has finished running and now we can visualize the output data set. So survived column is now converted to categorical feature from numeric feature. The name of P class has been changed to passenger class and now it is marked as categorical feature. Sex column is now marked as categorical feature as well. So there are two more columns which are unclear by its name, which are sib sp and parch. But we, we don't want to make them categorical. So we did not select them in the previous edit metadata control. So we will drag one more instance of edit metadata and then select those two columns as well. So we will go to source location of our data set to understand the meaning of sib sp and parch. So here they have given the variable descriptions and you can see sib sp and parch column names. So what is sib sp? It is number of siblings slash spouses abroad and parch is number of parents slash children abroad. So now we know what is the meaning of sib sp and parch. Therefore, we will name these two columns appropriately. So now in the launch column selector, we will select sib sp and parch and press OK. And I just want to change the column names. Now we can run the experiment. Our experiment has finished running. So let's visualize the output of second instance of edit metadata. As you can see here, sib sp is now changed to sibling spouse and parch is now changed to parent child. Hence the names are changed. So you can just play around with all these parameters of edit metadata to understand them better. So this is how edit metadata works. Thanks for watching.